Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and mobs and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people's Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think any of them is I. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a master of Peace, 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 family. How are you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I am going to be continuing my Dark Side of the Sign series with Leo. And so I did Leo because Leo is opposite um, Aquarius. And I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, I think it was a Pluto in the previous video I did. I talked about how uh, Pluto through the generations, um, the opposite side is going to be just as important as Pluto and Aquarius, uh, simply because we're probably going to be undoing a lot of those um, traits as well. And so um, I thought it would be good to start doing the opposite signs of all of the ones. And I'll talk about them when I do them. But um, this is actually teaching me a lot, guys. I really hope you guys are getting as much out of this as I am. Because I'm like, oh, my God, I had no idea. Because uh, I don't really do personal astrology, guys. I really like... Um, I really like, um, you know, um, mundane astrology. I really had to think about that. I like broader concepts, world astrology and history and all that other stuff. But this has been very helpful, very insightful and enlightening. But um, yeah, so let me just jump into it. Now y'all know how I feel about my Leos. Uh, I don't think I've heard, I've really dated a Leo, um, but I have a lot of Leo friends. And so this was enlightening that way. But um, so the dark side of Leo man, they are very egotistical, self-absorbed, um, self all about themselves, liars to make themselves look good. They can be immature with their emotions. If they like someone, they're mean to them. You know, I have a Leo rising sister. She's a Taurus sun. And I think a Virgo moon. And she talks about this a lot. So she has some innate um, understanding of why people pick on them. She's also really good at picking up on the fact that a lot of people do it, um, even in lesbian and um, gay relationships. So if girls pick on other girls, she's like, no, it's not that they're really mean girls. Like, obviously, sometimes that can be just what it is. She's like, but I also really think that they like them to some extent. And so when I was looking at this, I was like, that is very interesting that it says that. And what it also made me think of psychologically or psychology wise is, you, you know, when younger kids, um, you know, when you're like in kindergarten and stuff like that, and a boy likes a girl, he'll hit her. Um, so this reigns true in some way, shape, or form, because I think Leo is about fifth grade, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know it's, I know it rules um, education, childhood education, just like Gemini. So um, this definitely rules children. I mean, Leo is actually the sign of children and having children and sex so um this was very interesting to me they are copycats 
and they will try to outdo you. They are cruel if you criticize them. They will be mean to you in a passive aggressive way. They can't take a joke. They're arrogant and will belittle you if they know you're afraid of them. They always have to be right. But they're naive when it comes to investments, especially if they're getting some kind of compliments. Um, they're very petty cheaters, especially if they are not given, if you're not giving them attention. They can be very dominant my way or the highway kind of guys, rude if they don't respect you, condescending, and um, they'll do the, the cheap dates thing, which I don't see anything wrong with, by the way, because I'm cheap. So if we can save money, bitch, we are best friends, okay? So <laughs> I don't know how that's a, a negative thing, but okay. Um. They can be abusive when their authority is being tested. And that's pretty much all I have for the dark-sided Leo male. Now, the dark-sided um, Leo woman is very arrogant, vain. She has a fear of aging and um, concerns with her, figure, uh, her physical appearance. Um, very superficial that way, like Libra looking into the mirror, very territorial, um, jealous of others shine and can be very bossy. She has a hard time taking orders. She's a very um, authoritarian in that way, like Aries women, the dark side of Aries woman, um, vulgar and loud, can curse like a sailor, um, bad with money spending, bad credit, and has probably been bankrupt at least two to three, maybe four or five times. They love to give, though. They do have big hearts, but um, these guys might do it for a particular outcome, purpose, or reason. Uh, they can be overly dramatic, prejudiced, elitist, and racist, hard-headed, childish, and naive in relationships and will tend to get played by men just because they really like attention. And so typically they wouldn't care if they're getting played, unfortunately. Um, they can take, they can't take constructive criticism. She tries to be one of the guys just to get another guy or get one of the guys or all of them. Um, they will ask stupid questions and be clueless. Again, all for the sake of getting attention. Um, they are attracted to younger men. So these are definitely the ultimate cougars of the Zodiac. Um, they are very competitive, unreasonable, berated, can be berate, berateful, <laughs> belittle and physical abusive to her man, also like the Aries woman. She will treat her husband like a child, like the Taurus woman, and takes herself too seriously. She will steal your shine, your ideas, and make it as if they were her own, or reframe them as if she was gets, just repeating what you were saying, but she's using it as her own. Um, when drunk, they are very loud and messy. They tend to favor sons more than daughters as a mother has a hard time seeing when her child is wrong, but if her child does something wrong in front of her, she will discipline them. She is the quintessential soccer mom, very competitive and will play dirty just to make sure her kid's team wins. She will spoil her kids, creating codependent children. Now, what I found very interesting about this is that my mom, is a uh, Leo rising. And this was really the breakdown of our family because she kind of pitted us against each other. Now, my mom only has one boy and he's the oldest and he moved out way too early to know if that was actually a thing of hers. However, what I will say is that my mom definitely put the girls against each other or she would constantly talk behind our backs whenever one of us complained about something instead of being like a real mom and having us come together and talk it out. And so for many, many years in my family, 
we all just kind of assumed that my mom had a big mouth and shared everything, but it was a lot deeper than that. She was actually really trying to cause drama within our relationships between each other, which really divided us and separated us. The funny thing about that right now um, is that she actually is admitting that and seeing how much she kind of played in the part of why the family is so divided, which I think is really awesome for her and sad at, for us as a family at the same time, because I don't think we're ever really going to recover from that, especially if we're not doing the work. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so. She also has a, um, I don't even know how to say that, so I'm not even going to try to repeat it, but uh, she can fake orgasms in bed. She can be very uptight in bed or the aggressive type in bed. Um, this is the type of woman that will blame the father for everything. If um, if you have a warrant or any kind of legal issue, she will call the cops on you. She will try to stay on the family's good side. And she tends to have this kind of... Um, prissy queen madonna like persona where you know on the outside she looks very innocent and be like well, i don't know why he's doing what he's doing and make it seem like it's all his fault but it doesn't have anything to do with her or the damage that she may have caused which um is interesting my mom's not a cop caller but she definitely does do that um with my dad so and she still does that to this day my mom is ruthless but Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, family, as usual, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.